good morning students i hope you all are fine in this video you will know various peripheral devices of computer this is my last part in this i will discuss ports and networking communication devices these ports are very important for us because through this we connect the various peripheral devices now first of all students you have to know what is port just you can see the definition on the screen a computer port is an interface or a point of connection between the computer and its peripheral devices there are many peripheral devices like mouse keyboard monitor speaker printer these all are your peripheral devices the main function of a computer port is to act as a point of attachment where the cable from the peripheral can be plugged in and allow data to flow from an to the device there are several types of ports used to connect a computer to an external devices and network i am going to discuss one by one just you can see seven ports first one is the parallel port you can see the picture okay it is an interface through which the communication between a computer and its peripheral devices is in a parallel manner that is data is transferred in or out in parallel using more than one communication line or wire the best example is your printer you can connect printer to this port my dear now the next one is ps2 port students ps2 connector is developed by ibm for connecting mouse and old mouse and keyboard you can see the purple color this port is used for keyboard next color you can see my dear this is green yes this use for connecting mouse okay now the next support you can see the usb which is an important port for us to connect very seven uh, peripheral devices okay you can see the usb that is universal serial bus okay this port connects peripheral devices such as your latest mouse keyboard printer scan scanner using the cable next one is your display port you can see the display port here display port which connects the monitor or any display unit to the computer using the cable these can be of different types like vga that is video graphics array sdmi that is high definition multimedia interface depending on the requirement 
next is the audio port you can see here okay audio port helps to connect microphone is speaker and headphones to a computer system often the speaker and the headphone port is called line out port because we get it okay and you can see line in that is your microphone port because here we give we record our voice next one is the ethernet port you can see here this one is the ethernet port ethernet port is used for connecting the system to high speed yes internet cable that we use broadband we have the broadband service yes we use this port my dear the last one that is the power port i hope you all are aware about this port okay power port is used for connecting the computer system to the power supply now the next part that is networking and communication devices see strips networking and communication devices enable computer user to communicate and exchange item such as data instruction and information with another computer uh, nic just now you can see this nic network interface card okay and nic that we say as the network interface controller network interface controller card expansion card computer circuit board uh, network card lan card network adapter or network adapter card okay now the last topic is modem you can see in the picture this one is modem the full form of modem is modulator demodulator a modem is a device that enables a computer to transmit data okay it is responsible yes for converting your analog data into digital data and vice versa that means you can convert analog to digital as well as digital to analog i hope you have understood this topic very nicely